So we've got a question here. It says to convert this function here, f of x equals 1 over x minus 3, x minus 4, into a power series. Now, to convert this into a power series, the first place to start will be to try and split this into two different fractions, so i.e. use partial fraction decomposition. I wouldn't recommend expanding out this polynomial here. That would cause a bit more of a, an issue. So partial fraction decomposition, let's break this up. So then we'll have f of x equals 1 over x minus 3, x minus 4. And that's going to equal a over x minus 3 plus b over x minus 4. Now, the simplest way to break this down is to do the cover-up method. So if I want to find my a, I just plug in x equals 3 and see what's left over. So let's try that. So for x equals 3, a equals, well, this one is going to disappear, hence the cover-up method. And if I plug in 3 here, a equals 1 over 3 minus 4, which equals 1 over minus 1. So a equals minus 1. So that takes care of our A. Now let's have a look at B. Now for B, for B over X minus 4, to make this one disappear, we want X equals 4. And that's valid because we've not used that yet. So X equals 4. So B equals 1 over 4 minus 3. And then this one's going to disappear. So 1 over 4 minus 3, that just equals 1. So B equals 1. OK, so now let's rewrite our function here in terms of partial fraction decomposition. So F of X now equals 1 over X minus 4. So bring the positive one first. And then we can subtract because A is minus 1 over X minus 3. OK. So now our method is to make a power series out of this one and a power series out of this one. Now what we're going to do is we can use our favourite power series, which looks like this. So 1 over 1 minus x. That one as a power series is n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n. And that's all valid for the absolute value of x is less than 1. So we want to get either of these functions into this kind of format. So let's have a look at this one first. So 1 over x minus 4. Now we want to get the 1 first. So we want to twist this round first. So we divide everything by minus 1. So we've got minus 1 over. So my x minus 4 then becomes 4 minus x. So that takes care of that. And now we want to get rid of the 4 because we want a 1. So we've got the 1 over 1 situation. So now we just divide everything by 4. So then that becomes minus 1. So that's minus 1 over 4. So minus 1 quarter times. So now we've got 1 over 1 minus x over 4. OK. So now we can rewrite that in terms of a power series with this minus 1 over 4. I'm going to leave that on the outside of the series for now. So minus 1 over 4. And then the summation from n equals 0 to infinity. So the only difference here, instead of x, we've got x over 4. So we can write x over 4 to the power of n. So that's our series for this one here. And that will be valid for x Absolute value of x is less than 4. So that's absolute value of x is less than 4. So that's where this series uh, would, would go to. Now, what about this one? Now, the minus 1, I'm going to put that on the inside as well. So bring that into our uh, function we're trying to turn into a series. So minus 1 over x minus 3. So basically what we're doing is now is adding this term here. So minus 1 over x minus 3. So we want to get that in terms of 1 minus x. So again, divide everything by minus 1. So then that becomes 1 over 3 minus x. Then 
we need to get rid of this 3 into a 1, so divide everything by 3. So divide that by 3, divide that by 3, divide that by 3, and then we get equivalently, very similar to this one, positive 1 third this time, and then 1 minus x over 3. So multiply that by 1 over 1 minus x over 3. So here, this series here is the same as this one, except for instead of x, we've got x over 3. So we can write this all now in terms of a power series. So 1 over 3, and a summation from n equals 0 to infinity of now x over 3, this time, to the power of n. And then we need to look at our radius of convergence. Well, the radius of convergence for this one will be for absolute value of x is less than 3. So here we've got absolute value of x. Let's just write that a bit bigger. Absolute value of x is less than 3. OK, so let's turn this now into two power series. Now we need to use the rules now for combining power series. So I'm going to take this off the board, write the power series on the side, and then we'll combine the two and see what power series we get for our function f of x. So we've now got our two power series, which comes from the partial fraction decomposition of this. Now let's combine them. So let's just have a quick look at this power series here and see if we can make things anything easier when it comes to combining. Well, this minus 1 over 4, I can bring that on the inside. So minus 1 over 4 will then become x over 4 to the n times minus 1 over 4. So that takes care of that. So now what I want to do is I want to try and break apart this fraction here and combine this one quarter with this one. So this would now, so I've just put my totals in there, not really necessary at this stage, but just so as we can see where we're heading. So now I can take my x to the n out of it. And then I've left with a quarter to the n times minus 1 over 4. Now I can combine these two here now in terms of the 1 over 4. So now I've got n equals 0 to infinity. Now I'm going to write this number first. So I've got 1 over 4 to the power of n. So I can rewrite that as 1 over 4 to the n. And now I've got to multiply that by minus 1 over 4. So what I'll do now, the minus 1 I can put in my numerator. And as I've got another 4 here in my denominator, I just change that to minus 1 over 4 n plus 1. And that's fully legitimate. So that's x to the n for that term there. Now let's do the same with this one. So then this one will become n equals 0 to infinity x over 3 to the n times 1 over 3. OK, so now let's simplify this one off just like we did here. So now I've got n equals 0 to infinity. Now I can take out the x to the n as I did here. I'm going to put that in second. But I've got 1 over 3 to the n. This time a positive 1 and another 3. So now I've got n plus 1 and then x to the n. So now I can combine them. So I will now have f of x equals summation from n equals 0 to infinity. Now what I'm going to do is here, I've got this one and this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write this one first, because it's a positive. I always like my positives at the front. So 1 over 3 to the n plus 1. And then with this one being a minus, I will now subtract it from 1 over 4 to the n plus 1. And then that will be multiplied by x to the n. So now the last thing I need to look at here now is my radius of convergence. So this is where we need to be careful. Now the radius of convergence for this one was absolute value of x is less than 4. But for this one, absolute value of x was less than 3. So when we're combining, we have to take the lower of the two values. So the radius of convergence here will be absolute value of x is less than 3. So therefore, the interval of convergence would be minus 3 to 3. 
that's my interval of convergence. Okay, so that takes care of our power series for this function here.